Good morning, this is Paul Turner, the Immigration Ambassador to Imperium James. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, once again, Pretty Patel has been humiliated um, uh, as the court found that her Home Office policies were accountable for uh, deaths in Home Office care, or rather the policies that led to the deaths were unlawful. A landmark court ruling has held that the, the Home Secretary, Pretty Patel, who is ultimately responsible for failures in the Home Office, for in ensuring that deaths in immigration detention are properly investigated. Well, one would think that any death in immigration detention ought to attract a great deal of uh, concern. Well, I, I guess um, if she can hang them and she can put them in situations where they can take their own lives or misery, um, then that would probably do the same job. Um, it seems to me it's like echoes of the 1930s. The policies and the findings seem to keep getting worse. Um, the facts of this matter are that, that, that two judges in the Immigration Court ruled, uh, I think it was last Wednesday, that three of the Home Office's sexual uh, detention policies breached human rights rules and that she could not frustrate or undermine inquiries into these deaths as she had tried to. Um, uh, what had happened was two friends, are, I'm not going to mention their names, AL and OL, were in immigration detention and under her care, therefore. Um, on the 12th of October 2019, sadly, O.L. was found dead in his cell. And in shades of a very old case of Qua uh, Qua, uh, many, many years ago, the Home Office tried to deport A.L., a witness to the death, before he could provide evidence. Now, that's a nod to the past, if ever, of covering up um, uh, uh, your mistakes. However, uh, the High Court prevented his removal from the United Kingdom and did so by way of an injunction. O.L. was then able to give evidence uh, in person at the inquest in November 2020, something that he wouldn't have been able to do in any reality um, if he'd been deported, um, he coming from a, a backward country. Um, disturbingly, the, the inquest found that, that, that the person had died unnaturally as a result of neglect following a, a subarachnoid haemorrhage. Um, which can uh, rupture due to high blood pressure. Um, his blood pressure reading on, on 22nd of August 2019 showed high blood pressure. The jury found that this reading was not repeated, so he didn't take it again, as a result of multiple failures to adhere to healthcare policy. Given these opportunities to repeat the basic medical test on a vulnerable person, neglect contributed to his desk. O.L. challenged, uh, uh, in this case, whether he could lawfully be removed um, whilst this case was going on. Um, again, this has shades of a, a case many years ago where, where a Home Office a detention officials beat somebody up and tried to remove them before they could actually make a complaint. And again, the court stopped them then. Uh, the court again found that the Home Office policy to remove him was unlawful. Uh, they also found that the, the new policy that was brought out in August 2020 was also unlawful. Um, Pretty Patel's current policy was found to be legally deficient. The judges found that in the absence of a policy to direct what should happen following a death in immigration detention um, uh, was in itself unlawful and therefore concluded that, that they couldn't just let them die and, and, and ship off the witnesses, but they needed to have such a policy. Setting up camps, wanting to hang people and trying to block justice um, and all this from a Home Secretary who has been found to be a bully, had to resign once over a behaviour, it is nothing more than you would expect from someone working for a dictator. Uh, perhaps she yearns for the Germans of 1930s where you could lock up and get rid of the undesirables. Um, all you need to do is look at Napier Barracks and the people that she's chosen to put in there. Well, sorry to disavow you pretty, but this is the 21st century Britain. And whether you like it or not, the rule of law applies and you can't just uh, shunt people around or deport them as you want. Why Boris keeps his lame duck in this role is beyond me. Perhaps she has some hold of him or, or the ghost of Nigel um, Farage and, uh, and him making a speech scares them both too much to do anything apart from behave in such an appalling manner. Um, uh, this is a, a disturbing uh, video, but reassuring that the court intervened and, and that justice was done and yet another Home Office um, uh, uh, set of policies were found to be unlawful, this time in respect of detention. And when people are detained, they are in fact in total care uh, of the Home Office. Um, 
I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. This is Paul Turner, the Immigration Barrister of Imperium Chambers.